Up next, uh, uh, our uh, guest who says that uh, while Democrats continue to divide and distort, House Republicans are trying to protect seniors from that $716 billion in cuts that President Obama will not admit is included in Obamacare. Joining us now is Congresswoman Nan Hayworth, member of the House Financial Services Committee, a member of the House Doctors Caucus, the only female physician, voting member of Congress. Great to have you with us. Great to be with you, Lou. Uh, and I was, uh, I was not really kidding, even though I, I was being somewhat uh, jocular in my question to Carl. Yeah. The idea we'd be talking seriously and in depth uh, across the media now, beginning to at least right. on Medicare. Who would have imagined this uh, before uh, Congressman Ryan uh, brought onto the ticket by the governor? Well, his presence is electrifying, and it puts the issue of fiscal responsibility, of sustainability, of preserving and protecting Medicare and Social Security on the right turf. He is the man who knows these issues inside and out and has presented a plan that works. Within moments, we were seeing uh, ads from the Republican Party talking about that $716 billion. My guess is by now, a lot of people in this country, likely voters, are starting to really kind of hang on to that $716 billion and understand that uh, Obamacare took that from Medicare. Well, it's a $2 trillion plan over the next 10 years, Lou, inflicted on the American economy, and $716 billion of that today, the CBO has said it, and they sent a letter to the right. Speaker, that $716 billion of that $2 trillion, roughly, will be financed by taking it away from Medicare. We can't afford that. And, and Governor Romney has an interesting advantage in this, and it is clear that he's on the offensive now. Uh, and has been, uh, frankly, since he uh, brought Congressman Ryan onto the tick. As he should be. Uh, but this is, a, a, to me, an interesting situation in that he has the ability to alter his plan, the Romney plan, if mm -hmm. you will, because it's not as defined as either certainly the law that is Obamacare nor the Ryan plan that's been under attack uh, and uh, under advocacy, if you will, for uh, some time. He has an advantage. He seems to be using that advantage. Well, I think it, the selection of Paul Ryan as vice president really speaks exceedingly well of Governor Romney's character uh, as an executive. He has brought in uh, a man who can be his partner. They are both determined to provide the growth that our economy needs so that we can provide for those commitments that we have made. They are serious commitments. We intend to fulfill them. And that has been the Republican plan all along. The issue of growth uh, and the issue of public policy, whether it be uh, Medicare, whether it be taxation, uh, Congressman Ryan is being very straightforward, telling people he's going after uh, those uh, tax deductions. He's going uh, after loopholes, uh, tax expenditures, and making no bones about it. That's a forthright that hadn't been uh, presented to the American people uh, until he did join the ticket. Well, Lou, there's broad support for a much simpler, streamlined mm -hmm. plan uh, for our taxes, and one that lowers rates. We have proposed rates in the, the House passed budget of 10 and 25 percent, which would really energize our economy. Americans for tax reform, supporting the withdrawal of those deductions, of those loopholes? We need to take a thoughtful approach to all of them, but the point is, of <laughs> course, Lou, that we need to allow hardworking Americans yeah. to keep more in their pockets. Listen, I That's what we need for growth. I applaud straightforwardness. Exactly. I applaud uh, rationality. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I just Pro didn't growth. expect it to arrive quite so soon. Well, <laughs> Congresswoman, it's always good to talk with you and when with forthrightness you. and directness uh, is always present. And we appreciate yours. Thank you. Thank you very much, Congresswoman. <laughs> Congresswoman.